finally happened. The FAA officially waved the white flag. The launch license for Starship Flight 5 was granted just one day before the launch date of October 13th. Find out everything in TechMap's Today episode. From what I hear, and this is, of course, subject to change, the FAA could grant SpaceX a license tomorrow, allowing the company to launch Starship on Sunday. Oh, sucks also? Expect SpaceX to get its Starship launch license tomorrow. But mostly you sucks. Those are two tweets from a Washington Post reporter and an Ars Technical Senior Space Editor posted on October 11th, two days ahead of SpaceX's Starship Flight 5. According to them, the Federal Aviation Administration would grant SpaceX a license for Starship Flight 5 on October 12th, one day ahead of the Sunday launch attempt. And of course, that could change. No one can guarantee 100% accuracy of anything. However, given their credibility and speech, we have every right to believe that information. Fortunately, they didn't let us down given that on October 12th, the U.S. federal agency cleared the way for the fifth test flight by updating SpaceX Starship launch licenses. This is precisely a concession from the FAA to the most aggressive pressure tactic SpaceX has ever ever applied to the national agency. We know that amid the escalating tensions between the FAA and SpaceX over regulations, and the FAA still insisting on a license before late November, SpaceX was smart to get ahead of the FAA by deliberately circling the launch date as October 13th and publicly announcing it on all of the company's official platforms. SpaceX's counterattack was kicked off on October 2nd when two critical documents regarding Flight 5 including notice to mariners and a reservation for NASA's WB-57 aircraft were exposed informing the primary launch date of mid-October 2024. The FAA pushed back with a firm statement that nothing changing here but its voice quickly calmed down just five days later, given SpaceX's sudden and massive attack covering all social platforms. At that point, a late November target date clearly disappeared from its words, marking the FAA's obvious concession. Several days later, while SpaceX was eager to finish all final preparations before launch, the national agency kept silent. Since then, we realize that the FAA has officially waved the white flag. Apparently, we don't know what was exactly happened during that time, but we believe that without backing, it would hard for SpaceX to put the ball firmly in the court of the regulators. NASA, which has a close link to SpaceX, thanks to the Starship HLS project, likely stepped in as a licensing partner. In theory, NASA funds for developing Starship HLS to serve its Artemis program, so it is deeply involved with the Starship program. To some extent, they take responsibility during early Starship's demo flights. If that's true, it is impossible not to send deep thanks to SpaceX's president, Gwynne Shotwell, who built the solid foundation for the relationship between SpaceX and NASA. Thanks to her top-notch selling skills, SpaceX had the first contracts with the National Space Agency even before they developed the rocket and spacecraft. Everything started with a $278 million contract in 2006, requiring Elon Musk's company to develop a Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon space capsule that would ferry supplies to the ISS. This also led to more lucrative contracts. Most notably, in 2021, the space agency signed a $2.89 billion contract under the Artemis program with SpaceX to develop and manufacture Starship HLS and to conduct two flights, an uncrewed demonstration mission and a crewed lunar landing. Until now, that relationship remains strong, even though NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, well, doesn't have much affection for SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. Bill has many times praised Gwyn Shotwell instead saying that, Elon Musk, one of the most important decisions he made, as a matter of fact, is he picked a president named Gwyn Shotwell. She runs SpaceX. She is excellent, and so I have no concerns, Nelson said in an interview. In late 2022, Nelson asked about Musk taking over Twitter, telling Shotwell to confirm that the distraction that Elon might have on Twitter is not going to affect SpaceX. Shotwell, who is also the company's chief operating officer, assured him it wouldn't. Then Nelson said he smiled and hugged her because I know she is running that thing. She's running SpaceX, Nelson said then, or in a September interview, when Axios propagandist repeatedly tried to get Bill Nelson to disparage Musk as a distraction to NASA's mission. Bill reaffirmed Shotwell's great leadership role. You know, the good news about that is that Elon has a president that he lets run the company, and her name is Gwen Shotwell. And she's done that. She was the eighth employee of SpaceX. 
And she's done a phenomenal job. He even later rebutted Axios propagandist's words. Well, they distract you, but they don't distract NASA. <laughs> Imagine what if SpaceX hadn't received steady support from NASA throughout its development. What if SpaceX hadn't had a great employee like Gwynne Shotwell in the first place? Well, things would be bad. So, how about you? Do you highly estimate the role of Gwynne Shotwell in building the relationship between SpaceX and NASA, as well as in outsmarting the FAA to launch Starship Flight 5 on time? Say Gwynne Shotwell in the comments if you totally agree. Okay, now, let's continue with what will happen in Starship's upcoming flight. Starship Flight 5's liftoff is targeted for no earlier than 8 a.m. EDT on October 13th. The upcoming test flight will lift off from SpaceX's Starbase testing site near Boca Chica Beach in South Texas, the same site for four previous Starship launch tests. This flight aims to build on SpaceX's Starship Flight 4 success on June 6th, which marked the first Starship to reach space, and a smooth, soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico for the rocket's massive Super Heavy booster. For Flight 5, SpaceX hopes to recreate the success of the Starship vehicle's trajectory to target splashdown site in the Indian Ocean. But first, SpaceX will also attempt to return the rocket's massive Super Heavy booster, which is powered by 33 Raptor engines, back to its launch pad. There, SpaceX will attempt to catch the booster in the chopsticks of its massive Mechazilla launch pad structure. The system is designed to eventually allow quick turnarounds for Starship Super Heavy boosters for flights. Starship stacked ahead of its fifth flight test. We expect regulatory approval in time to fly on October 13th, SpaceX tweets on October 11th, attaching to some photos of full-stacked Starship. Elon Musk reposted and said on the same day, looks like Starship might fly on Sunday. This is the largest and most powerful flying object ever made at more than double the thrust of the Saturn V moon rocket. We will try to catch it upon return to launch site using the Mechazilla arms like giant chopsticks, like Karate Kid. SpaceX and its CEO Elon Musk have said repeatedly that they have been ready to launch Starship Flight 5 since August, but have been held up by FAA reviews and proposed fines related to environmental concerns over the rocket's water deluge system. Last month, the FAA said it would likely take until November to issue a license for the Starship Flight 5 launch due to additional reviews related to the water deluge system, which FAA officials have required consultation with other regulatory agencies. Meanwhile, SpaceX is also facing potential fines from the FAA amounting to $633,000 related to Falcon 9 rocket launches. SpaceX has bristled at both the Flight 5 Starship delays and the potential fines, threatening to sue the FAA on the latter issue. Nevertheless, after all, SpaceX has managed to launch the Starship rocket as expected. Starship is the most powerful rocket to fly. SpaceX aims to develop it into a rapidly reusable vehicle that can take large payloads into orbit, land back on Earth, and launch another mission within hours. The company has been taking a fail-fast approach to research and development more commonly seen in Silicon Valley than in the conservative world of space exploration. Since April 2023, Starship has undergone four test flights. The Gargantuan rocket, which has so far only undergone uncrewed demonstration, managed to once once again make it to orbit in its fourth and most recent test in June before accomplishing a first, splashing down for its first successful landing in the Indian Ocean. While the rocket's first three tests ended in explosions, officials say it has improved in every demonstration they've conducted with the vehicle. That included its third demonstration in March when SpaceX said Starship hit several key milestones and conducted a handful of in-flight tests that are a crucial step forward for it to be reliable and functional. In addition to NASA's Artemis III, Starship will play a vital role in the Polaris Dawn private crewed spaceflight. Starship's first crewed test flight is planned for the third and final mission under the Polaris program, which SpaceX is funding along with billionaire entrepreneur Jared Isaacman. The inaugural spaceflight last month under the program, Polaris Dawn, included the first-ever commercial spacewalk with the crew aboard a Dragon capsule. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.